Jessica, on these, everybody. Make some noise. Raiders in the, the audience. It's a lot. It's a lot to take in. I, you guys all work at Disney? <laughs> Does this table here? I've never been to Disneyland, Disney World, nothing before. Did you say good for you? I'm honestly, I'm honestly scared to go because I am terrified of turning into like a Disney adult, you know? Thinking like Prince Charming's gonna come and he's just a Raider fan. I'm like, oh, that's not right. oh. I do love Raiders fans though, because like I, you know, I want to be a Raiders girlfriend, because I'm also fiercely loyal to men who continuously disappoint me. Yeah! So I, I already get it. I already get it. I'm in. I'm in. Yeah. Okay, those are fun. Those are good. Those are good. <laughs> you know what? I heard someone told me they were like, "Hey, you remind me of Tinkerbell." If she was Mexican, became an adult, and then <laughs> stopped trying. Like, that's not, what? I was like, oh, is it because I like sprinkle magic everywhere? And they were like, no, it's because you're small, stubborn, and you settle for lost boys. Yeah. I was like, wow, they're called veterans. That's so rude. Like, on America's birthday, no less. Jeez. <laughs> And it's not settling, it's called lowering your expectations, all right? Come on, ask your mom, she knows. She, she gets it, she gets it. <laughs> I, do, I, do always, I do tend to date men in the military or like men in uniform, you know? Yeah, girl, like the Army, the Air Force, Amazon delivery drivers, like... Anybody who's good at taking orders, I'm like, that's how I'll do it for the troops, I'll do it for you, you know? And I like Amazon, come with a free video. It's great. <laughs> All right, thanks for me to do that. I do realize I need to, uh, I gotta start, I'm single, and I gotta start dating different types of guys. Like, I, I typically date, people tell me I should date, like, CEOs, you know? Guys who drive Teslas and know the difference between affect and effect, you know? Guys who can spell Wednesday without saying Wednesday. Like, <laughs> so no one here, I'm assuming. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I, I, the guys I date are usually the ones who um, join the military to help pay for college. But by college, they actually mean child support. Yeah. Those are my guys. They don't have Teslas, but they have BMWs, um, big Mexican weenies. It's nice. You guys know who they are. They're driving to like the Dodger games where the Honda Civic has a, the hood of their car is a different color than the rest of their car. Like, that's my guy. I love that. I love that. There's, a, there's something about a guy, though, who's like in a suit getting out of a Tesla that I'm like, oh, that is too try hard. I don't like that. Gross. I'm like, you probably signed the back of your credit card. What a loser. <laughs> no, thank you. No. I'm like, you probably file your taxes on time. Gross. <laughs> You've never been to jail? Ew, not my type. Not my type. No. But they have a guy wearing a baseball hat, a gold chain, getting off the bus. I'm like, that's my guy. We going to the swap meet? Let's go. You need diapers? I got you. Like, I love that. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's a Texas in me. <laughs> I am. Uh, I recently got promoted in my job. Uh, promoted to unemployed. <laughs> really fun. My friends were like, cool, you hated that job. I was like, well, I hated that job the same way married women hate their husbands, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, yes, I'm gonna cry and bitch and complain about it, but I wasn't gonna leave, you know? I wasn't gonna quit. I need dinner, obviously. I'm not gonna do that. One friend, she was like, you know what, Jessica? You're the most resilient person I know. You're gonna be okay. And she said resilient, but my head heard, ooh, Jessica sucks to suck. I was like, wait, that's not helpful. She basically said, you've been cheated on, thrown away your whole life, all right? You're used to this. I'm like, wait, what? That's not helpful. It's not helpful. People ask what I'm going to do for money now, and I've got it figured out. I'm going to start getting um, residuals, like actors do, from all the guys I've dated. Like, if you've seen me naked and then thought about it after, pay me, okay? 
Like, I know you're using my image and likeness. Give me some money. All right, thank you so much. Like, imagine the new photos I sent people who still have it in their phone. Like, you don't have to delete it. Just send me a monthly Venmo. That would be amazing, you know? A little residual would be so great. Thank you so much. I always love that because women are like, that's funny. And men are like, wait, that plus child support would be way too much for me. And bus fare? No, thank you. I cannot do that. And, uh, <laughs> and I know some people are like, nude photos, you shouldn't do that. And those people have dads, so that makes sense that they would not have to say that. They wouldn't need that. But... <laughs> Because they're like, Jessica, what if it ends up online, you know, and then you got to do things like, or you can't do things like run for political office. And I'm like, babe, I have an arrest record and a punch card to Planned Parenthood, okay? Like, that's not going to be the thing that takes me out. Are you kidding me? And they're like, well, what if he, like, you know, passes it around and shows all of his friends? And I'm like, I'm single and I'm unemployed, okay? Like, consider it a business card, all right? <laughs> accordingly, you know? I work off of referrals, all right? That would be amazing. Um, I'm open to any position, all right? You, know, you need a hole filled, I am your girl. Just kidding. I love that. I am single right now, um, and I genuinely, I want to be in a relationship. I really do. Like, I want to have, I want to get married, I want kids, divorce, like, I want all of that package. I want it all. I want it all. I do know, I want to get married, but I know I don't want to have, like, a wedding, right? Like, I want a husband, but I don't want a ceremony where I'm in front of my friends saying, like, look, I settled. Like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to have, I don't want to do that, you know? Falling badly in, it'll do. I don't want to do that. <laughs> and I want to make my friends and family pay for that. Like, for the trip, the vacation, like, something I'm going to do more than once. Like, that sounds silly to ask them to do that for me. <laughs> do it. I don't want to do it. Um, let's see what else I'm going to leave you guys on. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I know I want to have um, kids when I get older. <laughs> you know, I'm already old, but I want to get older. Yeah, I don't want to have kids when I'm responsible. Maybe that's more of a thing when I'm responsible, <laughs> when I'm not wearing pigtails and a cut-off t-shirt anymore. <laughs> That'll be the time. I don't have kids, but like I'm a good babysitter, which is the same, right? You just no, no well, you know. I uh, I'm like I know some Mexicans who would differ. <laughs> and I, you know, some of my aunts, <laughs> my mom. I'm just kidding. Uh, no, she's okay. No, uh, I do want kids. I babysit for my siblings. I do, and again, I don't have kids of my own, but I've convinced them I'm really good at babysitting because I'll say things, you know, like, "Hey, don't touch that," or like, "Get that out of your mouth." Just things they tell me not to do on a first date and just repeated back to their kids. Just from that. I do I do feel like I'm like the Donald Trump of babysitting now. Like I'm not qualified to do the job by any means. But people keep asking me and I keep showing up. I'm like, alright, we'll deal with that problem later. Not my kid, not my problem. Alright you guys, I'm Jess Galani. Thank you so much. Yeah. 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 Ye